Hey guys, welcome. In this lecture, we are going to have the category test over here. Okay, now as usual, in order to have a much more concise code, what we can do is within this widget folder, we can create a new file and we can call this category underscore test then do that. And we can use a stateless widget, and since we can easily convert it to a stateful widget if there is a need. Category test. And now we need to alight and use control and dot in order to import the material to that package. And instead of returning a container widget, we are going to return a column widget. A column widget can take multiple widgets which are going to be displayed vertically, that is from top to bottom. Okay. So for this purpose, the column has a property known as children. The first child or the first widget of the column is going to be a test widget. And this is going to say categories. And also we can style this. A style. And we can just give this a font size of maybe 19. Also you can pass a different font family for this. Okay, seems good. And now we have to use Ctrl S to save. And now go to the home screen. And over here, we can then call the category test widget we just recently created. Now use Ctrl S to save, or probably you might need an auto reload to see this. I just recently did this, and so I can just use uh, Ctrl S to save. Okay, now you can see it over here. And you can see over here we have this column. And basically, we just added all our widgets. Now, what we can do, I think I'm just going to get rid of this. Now, what we can do is within the column widget, it has a property known as cross axis alignment. This is going to work oppositely when using the row widget. We can then say cross axis alignment dot start. This is going to take it to the start horizontally, or oh, that is over here. Okay, you can see it now. Like I said, when using a row widget, this is going to work oppositely. In the future, you're fully going to see this. Okay, now back to the category widget. What we can then do is we can wrap this column with a pattern to give some breathing space. A pattern of maybe A to B. Okay, use Ctrl S to save. And you're gonna see it somewhere here. Somewhere here. Okay. Or probably okay, we can just use nine. Okay. Okay, wait for this. Okay. Now what we want to do is over here we want to have the category test, and over here we want to have that forward arrow to click and it's going to take the user to the category screen where the category image and the category name is going to be displayed. So for this, first of all, we are going to have the container, the container widget. And we can just give this container a height of maybe 40. Now we can have a child. Now with my explanation, I said we're going to have a, a category test over here, category test over here. And over here, we're going to be having the uh, forward arrow. So we're going to be using a row in order to implement this, a row widget. And a row can take multiple widgets, which are going to be displayed horizontally. Okay, that is basically the opposite of a column, right? A column would display our widget vertically, then for a row horizontally. Okay, and what we want to do next is we want to have the list view dot do that over here. And we can use an expanded widget first. The expanded widget will make the list view dot builder to take the available width space. So over here we can use the expanded widget and now we can then have list view dot builder. Okay, and you can see the list view that builder has this property known as item builder, 
and the item view that's going to take in a property known as contest and index, which is basically referring to each item we have. And now we can use this type of function. Okay, over in this, we'll see what we're missing. It's going to undo this. Dance and okay, great, 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 great. And for now, what we can just do is over here and create a list of categories and say final, and it's going to be a list of strings because we basically want to pass in test over there, list of string. And we can call this um, maybe underscore category, category label also. Okay, and we're going to set it to this list. We can just get rid of this over here. And the first item for now, we can just statically pass food, maybe the G table, and then pass be egg and then pass maybe um maybe c we can just go like this for now since in the future all these categories are going to be coming from our database and we are going to be returning a widget known as action action chip and within the action shape, it has a property known as label, and this is expecting a test widget. And now we can call that underscore category label, and we want to assess each item by their index. Okay, remember the index is ready to zero, one, two, three. So this is gonna be T, vegetable, egg, T. Okay, food, vegetable, egg, T. Okay, great. And one important property we have to pass is the item count. Over here, we can then say item count, and this is going to be underscore category label dot length. This will give us how many items we have within the list, and currently we have one, two, three, four, four items. Okay, now use control and S to save, and you should see it somewhere here. Yeah? okay okay you can see it over here but default we are able to scroll uh, we are able to scroll vertically so what we can do is within the list view that builder it has a property known as scroll direction and now we can then say as this dot horizontal we want we want to be able to scroll horizontally and you're going to see it horizontally that is from left to right now wait for this okay seems good and what we can then do since we have uh we have more than one widget within the column we then also have to say cross access element cross access element cross access element dot start to make sure all our widgets starts from the hedge over here and okay, seems cool. And we can also say dot end, and this is gonna start from here. Okay, seems cool. And add your comma, add your comma. And probably for now we can give a style to this and see how it's gonna look. Style, test, style. You can just change the color, colors. It may be white and see how it's gonna look. We can always change it, but for now, we can just see how it's gonna look okay. Not really cool. Okay, in the future, we're gonna change this, but for now, we can just go with this. And over here, we want to have that arrow, and you can see over here, we basically use the list view that builder and we are wrapping it with a an expanded widget to take its available space and you can see we are wrapping this with a row also so after this expanded this is the first child 
this is the first widget which is basically for the list view the builder and after this we can have the comma and we can then have an icon button and the icon button is a button so it's going to take in the unpress and for now it does nothing and the icon is going to take in the icon widget and we can then say icons dot forward Here we have that forward forward sorry arrow this is going to be arrow just going to wait for auto prediction icons dot arrow arrow forward arrow underscore forward iOS okay add your comma add your comma and use control and to save and you should see it over somewhere yeah somewhere yeah okay seems good and we can get rid of this expanded widget to see what's gonna happen move um widget and see okay wait for this okay see performing not restart okay you can see it disappear so we need it so make sure it takes the the um it takes the available space okay undo this and use control and to save and hopefully understand all this but if you don't do not worry as time goes on you're going to understand how everything works for the now we can also give we can also give some space between each action chimp so over here we can light and use control and dot and wrap with padding use control and to save and see okay wait for this okay seems cool do not worry in the, in the in the next lecture we're still gonna make this advance or style this a bit okay guys see you in the next